Hey, what's going on, y'all? I hope you guys are having a good evening. Um, I want to talk about something real quick. Um, I saw on my Snapchat that the New Day made their debut tonight on NXT. And they're supposed to be challenging pretty deadly at NXT Deadline this coming Saturday night. Um, before I talk about how I view this whole thing, I'm going to start off by saying I do not watch NXT whatsoever. Okay, I try to follow up what's going on over there. Um, I try my best, but it's, it's just, I don't know, y'all. It's just one of those things where it's like, I can, and I've always been like this toward NXT. Um, I just, I just couldn't really get into it for real. Now, with that being said, I will say, oh, and by the way, I saw that, that Vincent and Dutch were in the crowd for NXT as well. Um, and I also saw Drew Gulak was in NXT tonight. Sorry, I had scrolling through my YouTube on my TV. Um, I don't know. Some of these things might actually have me starting to watch NXT. I'm not making any promises, though. But I just might start watching NXT. Um, especially seeing that the New Day might be a new addition to NXT. Um, but speaking of New Day, or going back to New Day, I should say. I don't think, and I could be wrong when I say this. I don't think there's been a tag team who's won not only the Raw uh, Raw Tag Team Championships, the SmackDown Championships, and the NXT Championships. Now, I'm going to have to look to see if I'm correct on that. I'm pretty sure I am. But if I'm not, I'm going to edit this and let you guys know if I was wrong or not. But... I'm actually, you know what? I wouldn't be mad if the NXT or uh, this new day won the NXT championships because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. From how I seen how the WWE has booked New Day, they haven't really booked them. They booked them like they ain't worth anything. Okay, and I, I don't like that. I, I really, I really haven't liked that whatsoever. Um, I'm not gonna play the race card. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Um. It's just because there, there's been other tag teams that haven't really been doing anything as well. Um, but yeah, it, it's just... And I also feel like they're taking a little while for Bray Wyatt's storyline to go along as well. But I'm patient, okay? I'm a patient man when it comes to stuff like this. I know Bray Wyatt really likes to toy with his fans. And that's like literally the only thing I don't like about him. It's like, uh, just come on, man. But I know what they're doing. I know they're trying to do it like the long way. Pause. They're trying to give us long storytelling as far as Bray Wyatt goes. And they're trying to lead up to something big, I hope. But I will say that I trust Triple H with Bray Wyatt a lot more than I did with Vince. Okay? I I mean that wholeheartedly. Okay? But um, as far as... You know what? I'm not just going to even talk about the New Day. I'm just talking about the WWE as a whole from this point on. Um, I really feel like they uh, they changed a little bit. But I don't want to blame everything on Triple H. Because Triple H is basically cleaning up the mess that Vince McMahon has started. That he didn't even start in the first place. I mean, come on, guys. We're starting to see all these returns happen. All these new segments. Uh, um some people are getting utilized that weren't in the first place. Like I just saw, like I said, I saw that earlier. I'm sorry, my nose is itching, y'all. I'm sorry. But I just saw on, um, well, as I was scrolling on my Facebook, that Drew Gulak returned to NXT as well. I do definitely, I, and I've heard that he's been, like he's a lot more talented than what we have saw. So we might, we might see some changes in him as well. But um, like I said, guys, I'm a patient man when it comes to this. I'm a lot more patient with Triple H than I am than I was with Vince, and I and Vince, he's been the mastermind behind WWE for years before now. And a part of me says thank you for all the memories, but he, his ass had to go. He was literally killing his own company. Okay, 
He was literally killing his own company without him knowing it. And it had to take those accusations that we saw. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna say what they were, but anybody that knows what I'm talking about knows what I'm talking about. Ever since those allegations came towards him, that was his that was his way of saying, Okay, I, I can't do this no more. Because yeah, because you know you knew you was about to go to jail. Uh huh. You you knew the cops was at your throat. But no, real talk though. Um by the end of this year, I'm going to give the WWE a rating, okay? I don't know what the rating is going to be, but it, it'll definitely bef it'll definitely be before um, 2022 ends. So, um, but going back to the New Day before I end this video, I wouldn't be mad if they won an NXT Championship because I feel like they shouldn't, uh, they shouldn't have been watered down like that in the first place. I feel like... And I also think this too. I also feel like they've been watering the New Day down ever since, um, ever since they split Xavier and Kofi away from Big E. I think that's where they really messed up at. But who knows if Big E is clear to wrestle, which I hope to God he will be one day. If he does, um, uh, if he does get clear to wrestle, I wouldn't mind if he won the NXT Championship or something like that, or an Intercontinental Championship. Or the United States. Hell, I wouldn't even mind if somehow Roman loses both titles. Well, I'm pretty sure he's not going to lose both titles just like that. If he dropped the title, it'll probably be the WWE Championship. I wouldn't mind if Big E won the WWE Championship again. Because I, I don't like how they ended his reign. And I don't like how they ended Kofi's reign either. It's like Brock Lesnar is the New Day's kryptonite. And I also feel like Xavier Woods is talented enough to have his own singles run as well. And win a and win a championship but we'll we'll see what happens y'all um let me know what you guys think about this whole thing i know i kind of went off topic a little bit and i apologize for that but it's, a lot of things just came to mind as i was talking about the new day um let me know what you guys think about this um are you guys liking the fact that the new day might possibly become the new nxt champion champions um do you like the direction that they're doing with Bray Wyatt? Or any, anything towards that nature. You guys let me know in the, uh, in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. I see. I said comic. Comment section. I'm sorry, y'all. Ever since I had braces, there's been some words that I really can't pronounce the same anymore. And I haven't had braces since I was a senior in high school. Which was literally two, three years ago. So... Alright y'all, I'm going to go wrap this up. I'm about to relax here in a second. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this video. If you guys liked it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.